everybody, Kenji Lopez Alt from Serious Eats here, and today we're making fettuccine Alfredo. Now, I always figured that fettuccine Alfredo was about as authentically Italian as, say, a pizza burrito. <laughs> but it actually has roots in Roman cuisine going all the way back to the 15th century. That's when Romans first started tossing together pasta with freshly grated cheese. The modern version of the dish was invented by a Roman named Alfredo de Lelio, who first put it on the menu of his restaurant, Trattoria Alfredo, sometime around 1914. His version added extra butter to the dish, giving it a creamier texture, and it was this version that transformed into the goopy, heavy, all-you-can-eat restaurant staple that we know in the US today. Most versions you find these days are smothered in a heavy sauce that barely tastes of its fresh dairy and Parmesan origins. I prefer to make a lighter, cleaner version of the dish that hits all the right notes, but doesn't weigh you down. Here's how we do it. Start by combining five ounces of grated Parmesan cheese with just two tablespoons of heavy cream, a large egg, a teaspoon of cornstarch, two tablespoons of olive oil, and a half teaspoon of lemon zest. Season with salt and pepper, then whisk it all together. It's important to use real imported Parmigiano-Reggiano here for its flavor and melting properties. Next, finely mince a clove of fresh garlic and set it aside. Don't use jarred garlic for this one, or ever really. Now season a couple quarts of water with salt and bring it to a rapid boil. Add a pound of fresh fettuccine and cook it for just 30 to 45 seconds. Drain the pasta through a colander set in a bowl, then measure out a couple of cups of the starchy pasta cooking water and set it aside. We're going to use this water as the base for our sauce. Now toss the drained pasta with the garlic and two tablespoons of unsalted butter. Toss gently but thoroughly so that the butter is fully melted and prevents the noodles from sticking together. Now slowly drizzle in a cup and a half of that pasta cooking water to the cheese mixture, whisking constantly. Pour the mixture back into the pot and cook it over medium-high heat. As it comes to a simmer, it should thicken significantly as starch swells up. The added cornstarch should also help the cheese melt smoothly without clumping. Return the buttered pasta to the pot and turn it to coat, then add a handful of fresh minced parsley and chives for flavor and the illusion of healthiness. You can use a little pasta water to thin the sauce to a creamy consistency just before serving. I'm also pretty sure that a little extra cheese never hurt anyone. <laughs> 